So, no, it's fine. So, hi. 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 Uh, Alex, right? Yep. Alex, tell me, um, you're a Division One athlete, wrestler. Yep. What's it like being an athlete? Uh, when you're a Division One athlete, what does that mean for you on a your college life? It means my college life is mainly academics and athletics. Uh, I told Mark earlier there's four or three points to a triangle in college. You got social, athletics, and academics. You're only gonna succeed at two, so one of them is gonna suffer. Whether you choose athletics, social, or academics is your choice, but there's it's impossible to get all three. You just don't have enough time uh, to do it, and to it they have, have rollover effects. So. And you're an engineering major. Yeah. So you're a little insane? Uh, kind of, <laughs> yeah. I enjoy it. It's fun. So um, tell me, where, behind you we have uh, some fraternity houses here, and there's quite a few fraternities yeah. on this campus. And so, oh, we know where we are now. Um, <laughs> so tell me, um, what percentage, what's the story that you t hear about the percentage of students who are Greek, uh, and then what's I think reality? the school says like 30%, but I think they take that before the new pledge class and after the seniors have graduated, so it's about half. So I think accurately, I think it's around 6%. I'm making that up, but that's just from my experience and how many fraternity sororities I know and how many kids are in them and how many kids go to the school. So I would say around 60% are in some sort of Greek, whether it's ones that are here. A few of them have off-campus houses, but are still uh, are still uh, university-sponsored. Uh -huh. And uh, are you Greek? No. What does that mean for you? If you've got 60, 50, 60 percent of the students here are in a house, what does that mean for you? It mean, I mean, I feel like Greek life fraternities, they provide a group of people to hang out with and do things together. And so, if you don't have that somewhere else, it's kind of tough, but luckily for me, the wrestling team is my fraternity. Um, a lot of time, our time spent practicing, but we also hang out together, those living off campus with wrestlers next year, so that's, I mean, if you're not in a fraternity sorority, you have to have another group of people uh, to be with. So what would you say to someone who really doesn't know, uh, hasn't, uh, you know, as a high school student and hasn't thought very long and hard about this whole fraternity issue, what would you tell them to think about as they're trying to make a decision whether they want to go to a campus that's heavily Greek or, or to avoid that? What would um, you say? I don't know. I feel like I've never been to a different university that isn't predominantly Greek, but I feel like even if you go to those schools, and at least the ones I talk to my friends, some of them go to bigger state universities um, that aren't Greek, it still comes down to the same thing. You need a group of people that are to hang out with and like the thing that fraternity provides is a people that tend to be very similar and dress mm -hmm. exactly like you. Some people don't like that, some people like to have a diverse group of friends. Um, it it kind of depends on what you want, but fraternity and sororities just happen to be people that a lot of times are carbon copies or want to be. So, yeah.